First of all, uh, my name is Dan Gutman. I'm one of the trustees of the New Jersey Table Tennis Club. Thank you very much for coming. We're all very excited about this event that we're doing in conjunction uh, with the Maccabee uh, movement. And this is the first of what we expect to be many, uh, first inaugural United States of Maccabee Table Tennis Tournament. So, all around applause. Uh, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to do with you. We're going to try and make this brief. We're obviously thrilled to death that we have Sal Schiff here as an honoree. Um, for those of you who don't know the New Jersey Table Tennis Club, we've been around for um, since the early 1930s. We just had our 80th New Jersey State Championship here. Saul, did you ever win one of the? Did you ever win one of the U.S. Championships? Is your name on the trophy there? No, I think so. All right. Uh, <laughs> the year before. Uh, or at least I should say New Jersey Championships. We'll have to take a look because we have plaques that, that go back to the 1930s. Um, I wanted to share a couple of quick things with you that I wrote that hopefully embody the spirit of the event. Um, A couple of quick little sonnets that I want to share with you. The first one is called The Modern Maccabee, and I had it vetted by Ami Monson, so he gave me permission to read this. Uh, anyway, I called The Modern Maccabees. Most Maccabees today here know acclaim. They strut and strive and sweat for no awards. They jump and shoot and run for scanty fame, internalizing goals that they point towards. Sans ancient Greeks, whom they daren't, with whom they daren't contend, no Judas freeing lamps, long since embalmed, foe enemies of games are just pretend, low stakes, no swords unsheathed, my nerves uncalm. Are metal efforts worth a prize of sour? They are if symbols motivate the Jew. Torah and homeland dreams alone have power, but less if flaccid bodies fail anew. The modern Maccabees have great import, one path to Jewish histories through sport. So uh, it, this has gotten a little resonance with the uh, Maccabee executive, executive, so we'll see if uh, they take it as a, as, as a theme. The second relates to our beloved sport of table tennis, which I wrote several years ago and I've got it uh, here at the uh, JTTC. I call it Table Tennis Testament. Make table tennis thy sole choice of sport. Then quick, abandon baseball. Football, too. And love of basketball that must abort. For all pretenders to thine heart are true. Slow baseball slogs can bore until the grave expressions of the players ossify to frighten masks that mask even the brave. Damn games a hot stove sit they'll verify. And if of football thou often partake, Tis likely that they'll not stride straight again. Thou stature short shall not opponents quake when basketballs towards hoops thou toss in vain. But table tennis charms sustain long life. Top spins reduce thy stress, relieve thy strife. All right, so that's it for Shakespearean sonnets today. Um, now back to Saul Schiff. Thank you. Uh, uh, because. Uh, we don't want to keep Saul waiting too long uh, because he's, uh, how, old are you, how old are you today, Saul? 93 years old. It's burned no. out. All right. Uh, now, for those of you, who, I, I've spoken to many of you, but for those of you who don't know, Saul's the real deal. Saul is a two-time world table tennis champion. He won the, all right? And we're talking about world champion now. To be specific, he won the world doubles in 1938, and I, he was on the world championship team, which certainly qualifies in 1937. Back in the 1930s, many of you may or may not be aware, Jews played a preeminent role in the world of table tennis. As Barry Daytel knows, Barry's father and and uh, and Saul were were chums, right? Barry back in the day? 
But I want to read you this wonderful certificate that we, we did for Saul. I should say that the Maccabee USA Sports did for Saul. And I'll, I'll just read it because it's short. Maccabee USA Sports for Israel, certificate of appreciation, in honor of your outstanding achievements in the sport of table tennis, your commitment to Judaism, we gladly present this certificate to Saul Schiff for being a role model for Jewish athletes of the past, present, and future. Awarded today, and then it says, may your devotion and commitment to the ideals of Judaism and athletics continue. of this uh, long lost art could flick the ball into the racket the ball would bounce on your side the other side and roll back into the net okay. so uh, here I was uh, beaten up by Saul and it was uh, Saul's sir, sir and he had a little bit of a twinkle in his eye he never remember this but he gave me a knuckle spin sir and I just stood there diving forward into the net trying desperately to do something with this ball but uh, it was an interesting era that he was king of. And, uh, and I can tell you, uh, he is one of the legends of table tennis uh, in the United States. Uh, I had the, the great uh, uh, opportunity uh, over the last several years to get together with Saul, Marty Reisman, Dick Miles, uh, Doug Carlin, and the group uh, who really constituted the, the best players in the world uh, in the 50s. New York was the center of table tennis uh, in the world in the 1950s. Uh, Saul was right in there, and I can tell you the, the, the respect he gets from the other players uh, at that era is, is also legendary. On behalf of the McAfee Committee, I'd like to present this gold medal to Saul. So I'm going to put Many of us who know him and have seen him play, um, uh, it, it, I'm in awe just standing here next to him. Congratulations. Thank you. 